Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely T T V show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely T T V show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey tea sippers, hope you guys are doing good today. So as you guys can see from the thumbnail, there's a lot going on in these relationship streets, honey. We got some new hookups, a possible pregnancy announcement, some possible breakups, and for sure a divorce, okay? So let's go ahead and get up into it. Make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. So what's going down is this. Let's go ahead and start with the situation that's going on right now with Jeezy and Jeannie Mai. We are starting to get more tea on their situation. So basically the other day, Jeannie went on the Jennifer Hudson show and she claims that she learned about Jeezy filing for a divorce at the same time as us, the rest of the world, you know, learned. So when we found out about it is allegedly when she found out about it. And she said she was hurt. She was gutted. She was shocked. Y'all go ahead and check this out. Um, things are different from the last time you were here. Some unexpected news broke about your, your marriage. I was going through uh, things and marriage ended in divorce and it was kind of hard so yeah it's it's yeah. what I'm dealing with day by day you know and how are you doing now um well I'm doing I think I'm doing better now you know I think Good. um at the time when I found out you know at the same time as the rest of the world that yeah. my marriage was ending in divorce I was gutted so yeah today it's about picking up the pieces it's about discovering me mm -hmm. and being a mom to the best blessing in my life, my little girl. Yeah. Accentuating yeah. the positive Absolutely. and the beauty in life. Even though this year I met the most broken version of me, mm -hmm. I also met the strongest version of I me I love today. how you said that. That's going to empower so many yeah. to hear you say it like that. Yeah. Now, how is your beautiful baby doing? Oh my God, Monaco is everything. <laughs> She's everything. She's so cute. She's just my whole world. I, I think, you know, we're, we're, we're present and we're alive right now. Uh -huh. But I think every parent can tell you that when you have a baby, you get a chance to be born again. This entire world has become a whole different place to me with different colors and sights and sounds because of Monaco. So reliving my life and reparenting myself through this little girl has been the greatest gift of my life. Wow. That yeah, is very so blessed. beautiful. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Are you teaching her Vietnamese? I am. I'm teaching her Vietnamese. So she speaks English and Vietnamese. And I mean, she pretty much understands everything we say in Vietnamese, which is so cool because that's how I learned to speak. I have to speak it fully at home. And then when you go to school, you'll learn English like that. <laughs> um, but now she's starting to mix Vietnamese. Like she popped out the other day saying, what the hell? <laughs> like, <laughs> And how old is she? She's 23 months. <laughs> so I'm going to clean that up before she goes to school, folks. I'm, I'm going to get that together. Where did she learn it from? That's the question. I'm pretty sure we know which side of the family it was, though. <laughs> I can tell you that. Um. All right, honey. So y'all just heard what Jeannie Mai had to say. So all of a sudden, maybe two hours after that interview went viral, Jeezy's can't release a statement. They're like, hold up now. Not so fast. You're not going to do that. So Jeezy is basically saying that Jeannie knew that the voice was coming and that they were in marriage counseling. So this is what's being reported. Jeannie Mai claims that she found out about her divorce from Jeezy like the rest of the world, which couldn't be any further from the truth, at least from her estranged husband's point of view. Sources close to the couple tell TMZ that, see that Jeannie being blindsided by the divorce filing is absolutely false because there were clear signs of their uncoupling long established and manifested right before their eyes. We're told that the couple serially engaged in marriage counseling with multiple therapists before Jeezy came to the realization that the relationship was irretrievably broken. No matter who the professional was, it seems like Jeezy walked away with the same answer clearly. It would appear that he felt like the writing was on the wall and that Jeannie's suggestion came out of nowhere and is disingenuous. Jeezy hasn't highlighted an exact reason for the split, but he has maintained that he felt in his gut that it was best to walk away since filing for divorce back in September. 
So that is what Jeezy's people are saying. Um, at this point, you know, again, like I always say, I don't revel in people's divorce. Divorce is not easy. That is the death of a relationship, especially when children are involved, which is really sad. But I just think, you know, something happened there on either side that just couldn't be fixed. And, you know, at this point, it is what it is. All they can do is just move forward and take care of their beautiful baby. But she also needs to remember how she treated her ex. You know, sometimes how you treat people can come back on you as well. Remember, she was with her ex-husband for years. He wanted a child for so long, and she claimed she wasn't ready, and she didn't want a baby by her ex-husband. But then she meets Mr. Darkmeat, and all of a sudden, you know, within a year, they're engaged. She's pregnant. She's having a baby. You know, they get married, and it was just a whirlwind, whereas the person she was with for years, she just, you know, felt no need. And her ex-husband was clearly hurt because if you guys remember, he took to social media when somebody had added him. So um, somebody wrote her first husband is probably biting bricks and screaming right now. And he ends up replying back and he says, I upgraded from trash to treasure a long time ago. Best decision I ever made. Congratulations. Being truly happy is an awesome feeling. Love my little family. Then he also replies back to somebody else and says, still don't give a shit. So, you know, basically he was over it. He was with this woman for years. She never wanted to have a family with him or really truly invest in him. But, but then she meets this rapper who has way more of a net worth than he did. And now the sudden, honey, here comes marriage and a baby carriage, okay? So you got to watch how you treat folks. And it seems like Jeezy gave her the same treatment that she kind of gave her ex-husband. You know, the whole situation is unfortunate. But like I said, the most important part is that baby. And hopefully, you know, they'll be able to co-parent and do what they have to do but you know until they both speak about what exactly happened it's anybody's guess at this point in time but I wish them both the best you know because like I said I don't wish divorce on anybody that is not an easy thing to go through so now in other news what's also going on out in these streets is that basically Ashanti and Nelly were trending yesterday and neither one of them has spoke on it but Ashanti was seen rubbing her belly and Nelly was also seen rubbing her belly as well. And a lot of people are saying that Nelly has now knocked up Ashanti. Y'all go ahead and check out this video right here. It's almost that time. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. But I want everybody special women. I want to hear y'all say, Seal the deal. 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 Right, so y'all just saw that video and they were at this black and white ball in St. Louis. So a lot of people, you know, feel like she's pregnant at this point. You know, Auntie Ashanti is 43 years old, so she's definitely a lot older. Um, you know, I love their music. I like them as performers. I will support them and go to their concerts because, you know, I'm, I'm a fan of, you know, nostalgia. 90s and the 2000s was my era. So I will go to their throwback concert when they come to the Twin Cities. But as far as this whole union, it is what it is. I just, I feel no ways. I just, I'm sorry. I'm stuck in the 2000s. I'm stuck on how he treated her before. I really hope he's changed because it seems like her star power is super bright. She's doing well with herself. She's finally getting her roses. Meanwhile, his tour bus is getting pulled over for methamphetamines and shit. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, our allegations. So he hasn't been seen too favorably in the media in the past few years, but she has. So I just really hope he has changed and he's changed for the better. You know, a lot of people are saying that, you know, she's too old to be out here trying to be a single mother, a baby mama. Where's the ring? You know, at the end of the day, she knows the man that she has. If he's willing to marry her, great. Hopefully, they'll be able to walk down the aisle and, you know, live in bliss and raise their child together. I hope she's smart enough and has discernment to really know that he's changed and he's going to be serious about her. Because, like I said, I still feel away with their first go round. OK, I'm not here for spinning the block, but it's not me. It's not my relationship. Ashanti is grown as hell so she can make her own decision but I wish her and Nelly the best and if she is pregnant I do wish them a healthy happy pregnancy because you know Auntie Ashanti is older now and I'm sure she wants a baby you know she's a beautiful woman you know I can see with a little pretty little daughter and stuff like that so you know hopefully this will work um but again I'm I'm not a fan of team spin the block especially when it comes to you know Mr. Bad News the past five years so now in other news okay 
this whole situation is crazy. It kind of came out of left field, but there are rumors swirling around the internet that Cardi B and Offset may not be together anymore. And I don't know what's going on. I have not spoken to her, but this shocked the hell out of me today, honey. You know, I, I seen this and I was like, yikes, wasn't expecting this. But if you go onto Instagram, Offset and Cardi B are no longer following each other. And you guys know in social media world, okay, a follow is a big deal, especially between a husband and wife. And for a husband and wife to not follow each other on social media, that says a lot. I know it sounds so superficial, but it really is a big deal on social media, okay? So just follow me here. So now basically, Cardi also took to social media and she said the following in her Instagram story. She says, you know when you just outgrow relationships, I'm tired of protecting people's feelings. I got to put myself first. So that is what Cardi wrote. And if you guys remember this year, there was a little bit of trouble in paradise where Offset took to social media and he basically claimed that Cardi B might have cheated on him. And she came back and, you know, she denied it and they kind of went back and forth for a while. But then they kissed and made up and they ended up dropping their music video. Um, so I don't know. I hope everything works out for them. At the end of the day, you have to do what makes you happy. And if you're not happy in your current relationship, you have to make moves, you know what I'm saying? You only have one life to live and it makes no sense being in something for other people. You have to be in it, male or female, for yourself. You have to make each other happy. But one thing that people also need to understand is that marriage is not easy. There's gonna be ups and downs, peaks and valleys, you know what I'm saying? You have to put in the work. And if one partner is putting in all the work and the other person is not taking it seriously, that is a recipe for disaster. So the biggest thing that I can tell y'all when it comes to relationships is communication, communication, communication. Relationships are not easy, but you know, eventually when you find the right person, you'll know it. I wish them both the best. Hopefully this is just some temporary steam, but we'll have to wait and see how this plays out. So now in other news, um, this other person is also trending as well. If you guys do not know, Little Boosie is trending because he came out the other day and basically let the world know that his daughter, I think her name is like Crispy Black or something like that, Sexy Black, something black. Um, she's basically dating. She has a boyfriend. And, you know, Boosie's happy for her. You know, he's like, okay, my daughter got a boyfriend. And then he says, you know, you can cheat on her, but don't beat on her. And so this went viral. People were really upset. Like, you know, why would you tell your daughter to stay with a cheater? You know, why are you condoning this? You're such a horrible dad. So Boosie ended up coming back and he went off and he basically explained to himself. So I want y'all to go ahead and watch this clip of little Boosie talking about the situation with his daughter. You can cheat on her, but don't beat on her. My daughter just taking me. She got a boyfriend. She want me to meet him. Be nice. Just don't hit her. Love a I don't give a f what you do. Don't take it in, Just don't hear the You can cheat on her, I don't give a damn. <laughs> Whatever. Just don't hear the <laughs> My daughters love me, bro. See my daughters? A daughter and a daddy, bro, that's different, bro. Like a mom and a son. Like a mom and a son, bro. A daughter and a daddy. I'm weak for my daughter. That's why my next baby, I want sons. Come on, my daughter's, bro. Everybody talking about the cheat on the beat on the thing or whatever. Uh... I'm not the type of daddy gonna get in my, my daughter's relationships about, about no cheating or nothing like that. But if you beat on her, then that's a different thing. That's my problem. A lot of y'all come in, y'all ain't got no daddy. Y'all ain't gonna call y'all daddy and tell him y'all got a boyfriend because y'all don't even care what y'all daddy say. Y'all don't have no respect for y'all daddy and y'all don't think y'all daddy gonna protect y'all no way. Or his opinion don't mean shit no way because he ain't shit. Me and my daughter, me and Pretty Black is thick as thieves. I talk to her about anything, she talked to me about anything. So a lot of y'all comment negative about my parenting and all that. I'm a damn good daddy, baby. Damn good daddy. Daddy first. So a lot of y'all, y'all never had a father. Y'all ain't gonna call him. 
All right, y'all just heard what Lil Boosie had to say. So he was definitely snapping at all the folks who had something to say about his parenting. And I do understand what he's saying um, in the initial post. He's basically saying that he knows as a man he wasn't shit. He cheated. He got multiple baby mamas out here, broken homes. So there's nothing he can do to really prevent a man from cheating on his daughter. But there's something he can definitely do if the man puts hands on his daughter. And a lot of guys do think like that, unfortunately. But I will say this, okay? This is one thing I will say. I think as older people, you need to speak life into younger people. Don't just green light and condone them cheating and acting like, oh, it's no big deal, all men cheat, whatever. I think speaking life and saying that, no, I want a good man for my daughter. I want a man to treat my daughter like a princess. I want a man to treat my daughter well. I think those should be things that he should be reiterating in this new boyfriend, not just simply saying, well, if you cheat, you cheat. You know what I'm saying? No big deal but if you put hands on her you know that's your ass and I feel like he should be speaking more of the positive into this situation and wanting this relationship to flourish and grow and be something positive because at the end of the day you need to understand that yeah cheating may not necessarily be physical like beating on your daughter but cheating can also lead to emotional abuse and it can potentially open up to giving her an STD and then on top of potential STDs he could be out here having multiple outside kids on your daughter. <clears throat> Case in point, exhibit A, Boosie. Ask him why he cheated. It's time that y'all start giving women a pat on the back, a clap, and stop degrading them. Me and Rajel just can't be around each other right now. It's a court order. It's a court order. So you don't want your daughter to go through that. So I think that, you know, he should speak more life and positivity into this relationship than just being dismissive and saying, you know, if he cheats, he cheats, but he better not hit her. You know, and I like I said, I get what he's saying, but nah, we're not just going to leave it at that because cheating is not OK either. And that also is a form of emotional abuse and gaslighting and things like that. And it can also tear down a woman's self-esteem when a man is constantly cheating on them as well. But at the end of the day, you'd be surprised at how many of y'all's daddies and uncles, OK, really think like this. So he's not saying anything I haven't heard before, child. So anyways, with that being said, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Make sure y'all hit the video with the like. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. I look forward to reading y'all's comments on all of these topics that I just hit on. And then last but not least, make sure you're still subscribed to the channel, OK? Because again, like I said, we're trying to get to a million subscribers. And if you've not gotten your ugly Christmas sweater, Make sure you guys go to the website. The link will be posted down below. Don't forget the deadline is December 20th to get your sweaters by Christmas Day. Thank you guys so much for the support so far. I really appreciate it. And I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.